Wait, that's no that's excuse. Some of them got 22 and she don't got these issues and she about 50-something. That's no and excuse. Mama, I can player. understand. Well. I, wait, I can understand if she was like oh, in man. her 50s, maybe 60s. Because, no. you know, they got they got depends no. for, you know, for us and older I'm people. But she, she you know literally, like, like wait, she's literally <laughs> peeing on herself. Yes, yes. In the seat, we in the, in the bag. Into, into herself because she had to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, no, this baby's sitting in the seat. And she's like, oh, I just coughed. I peed on myself a little bit. Oh, my I'm God. Like, what? <laughs> you got to sit in that same she seat, pulled though. Into a rest area. I pulled in for she she sat on a towel. And I had like a little, I have like a little, um a little mat that I put down. So I sit on. So I'm not really touching the seats either. And I was like, I'm so grateful that I had that. <laughs> because, yo, I pulled into the rest of the because she had to go to the bathroom. She's like, no, just stop the truck. Just stop the truck. I stopped the truck. She literally steps out the truck and just starts peeing. And I'm just like, the bathroom is right there. My, like, I can't, like, I cannot make this shit up. And I'm telling him, I'm like, I'm trying to be so nice about it and not, like, really tell him what's, like, actually going on. But we had got to, um a shipper's location and this is the first time when I told her I'm like you know I don't need help backing I just need to tighten up like I need to get faster with it this girl gets out like she's training me and I'm just like you're not training me like I know how to back up like I've been doing solo for a minute <laughs> I said if anything I said this is why I agreed to team because I felt like you know it was another woman she understands the struggle like she's gonna help me just get better it was not that and I'm just like yo Step to the side. I don't need help back in. So I back in, and she's like, "Oh, you took the easy way. You took." The, I'm like, "What? The, I'm like, this is how they train you how to do it. Like, that's not the easy way. I'm like, that's the way that they teach you to do it." She's like, "Oh no, but you gotta get better so you can learn the back in like anyway." And I'm like, "In time, I'm like, yeah, it's gonna come." But I'm like, every doc is different. Like, I'm gonna learn as I go. I'm like, we get to the next one. She does the same thing, hops out and stands it. She's like, you got to, but how I set up, like I back up and then I pull up close enough so I can get like my two feet in between or whatever. And then I cut my, my wheel. This girl will not move. I'm like, you got to move so I can like turn in a little bit closer to the dock because the way that it was set up, I'm like, I need to be as close as I can. So when I do turn around, like I can just like be closer back and in, she would not move. And I'm just like, yo, I can't do it. So I caught an attitude that day and she got mad. And I'm just like, but you're not training me. Like, I'm asking you to help me get faster at it, but you're you're putting me in a bad situation to where I have to rely on somebody to back me in. I said, that's not what I want to do in life. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm going to show you how to back up so you don't ever got to get out and look. I, I, I'm like, that's not how I work. Like, I'm like, I'm very big on safety. I said, this is not what I do. <laughs> it was bad. And she's only been licensed for probably like two, three years. Thank you. I'm like, you acting like you've been trucking for like 30 and better. I'm like, there's dudes that I've spoken to who've been backing for 30 and better, and they still tell me the same thing too. Like, nah, set yourself up and make sure you get out and look. Worst case scenario, you know, make sure your angle is... I'm like, I haven't hit shit yet, and I want to keep it that way. She's like, oh, you don't got to worry about that because I'm not going to make you hit nothing. I'm like, it's not the point. <laughs> The point is, this is just temporary, <laughs> and I'm still going to have to do this shit by myself. So I'm like, I'm not trying to fuck myself up in the long run. Yo, it was it was bad. It was to the point, like, we really got into, like, a full-blown argument. She got mad because I had took long at one dock. We went to Cali, but the shit was like I had the back end from the road, and then it was like a wall there. So you had to come in real close on your driver's side in order to, like, be able to pull up enough in the front and not hit that wall. So they were trying to like help drive me in, but my tandem wasn't even in the right spot. So I was like fighting against my tandem. And it literally took me like an hour to get in. And I'm not going to lie. It did. But I'm like, once the other guy helped me adjust my tandem, it was fine. Like he was able to direct me and I was able to get in. And I'm just like, no, she cannot help me because she doesn't know how to help someone. It was, it was bad. So um, I asked them to get me out the truck. I said, I don't care what y'all have to do, but y'all got to get me out this truck. Like, she stinks. Like, she's not clean. Like, and it was just so bad for me. Like, and I didn't want to have that argument with her because 
I'm like, you know, everybody has like their little issues that they deal with in life. Like, I don't want to give her a complex or make her feel bad because she's struggling with certain shit in life. I'm like, everybody goes through that. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what it is, like everybody is going to struggle with something in their life. It just so happens to be you have water issues. <laughs> so it was, it was bad. We, um, you know how they want you to switch like beds or whatever. Like you both supposed to sleep on the bottom bunk when you're teaming. I was not switching beds with her. I couldn't do it because I'm like, she's pissy. I'm like, even if I switch the mattresses and stuff, I'm still not feeling need to have to spray everything down. That's down there. I'm like, that's too much work. So I just slept on the top bunk. This truck, it actually didn't have the mat, so I couldn't strap myself in. When I tell you this girl, like, she drove like a mad woman. I'm just like, I don't understand. She blew two of our tires, like, on two, like she blew one on one separate occasion, then she blew another one on a separate occasion. I'm just like, that's because you're not slowing down for these damn bumps, and you're really speeding over shit for no reason. I'm like, yo, you got to get me out the truck. But, okay, so let's unpack this, man. So she... You know, you you get in the truck with this with with a coworker that thinks that she's training you. Was she up under the impression yes. that she was training you, or or no. what? How, how was how no. was the meet? Like, how did y'all meet? How did y'all come together? We met we met at the orientation for the company, and she was actually supposed to be training uh, another guy there. So they were teaming and they were training. Okay, so she already she she already worked for the company. I think she was returning, so she worked there before, and she was coming back. Okay, so who thought it was a good idea to uh, to put y'all two together? She offered to team, in a sense, and then because the owner operator that she works for. It's like he gets his, I guess he, they dispatch loads for him and he like leases his trailer from them or whatever the case might be. So he was like, he's real big on loyalty. So he's like, he doesn't want to make it seem like he's taking drivers from them. Mind you, the company has been trying to get her to come over to their side, <laughs> but they do cents per mile and not percentage. And she wants percentage. So she, she's like, no, you know, I, I have percentage here. And she claims she's loyal to the owner operator that she works for. So I'm like, it's fine. So we were talking about it. I was explaining everything that was going on. She's like, I'm telling you, just come over here. Just come over here. It'll be a lot better. He don't play that. He fixes his trucks. He get everything done. So when I spoke to the, to the owner operator and he was telling me everything and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, just let me know. So he did speak to the company and let them know that I did reach out to him. The company was aware that we were talking. So we did end up, um, making the switch but couldn't get me my own truck he claims he has a truck for me but again it's like over a week now and i still don't have a truck you guys started teaming like how like about how long like how 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 long have y'all have y'all was teaming before you decide to jump ship it was like a week and a half when I had called him back and I was just like, this is it. I can't do it no more. Like she unplugs the ELD, she drops against the clock. I had it, like, I have my endorsement. Only one I'm still working on is a hazmat. I have to um, send in paperwork for that one. So a week that you guys was, uh, was together and you decided to cancel the, <laughs> cancel the yeah. contract. And even with within you, uh... that week, like day two, I'm on the phone with him like, yo, I don't know why she's acting like she's training me because she's not. So I'm explaining the situation that happened when I was trying to back in. And I'm like, I literally had to tell her like, Hey, you know, step to the side. Like I know what I'm doing. Like, let's, I'm like, I know it might look a little bit weird how I'm setting up, but trust my setup, like, and just allow me to back in. For the most part, you just wanted to help, you know, so that you won't, you know, that you won't be hitting anything or nothing like that. You don't have to direct me it in or anything that. like that. No, no, it wasn't even that. I don't have an issue as far as like hitting anything. My thing was I need to get faster. So I'm like, if anything, stand there, watch what I'm doing, analyze it, whatever it is, and critique it with me after the fact. Not guide me into the parking spot, tell me how to do my setup. I don't need that. <laughs> I'm like, you haven't even seen how I set up to know if I'm doing anything drastically wrong. So that was my issue. I said, I asked you to help me tighten up, 
not teach me how to deck. <laughs> so what about this not get out and look thing? Like, what what is that about? Oh, my God. And this is what I told him. I literally had to tell him. I told him, I said, I don't know if that's something that y'all do. But I said, as far as I'm concerned, I'm always going to get out and look however it goes because that is how I was told to do it, and I am making sure that I'm not hitting anybody else's truck. I said, it might take me a little bit longer, but I don't care. <laughs> because I'm like, as far as I'm concerned, if I hit somebody's truck, that's on me. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to be hired by these companies. I'd rather have a million companies that I've worked for opposed to having an accident on my um, MVR. And I said, I haven't had an issue so far. I'm like, these people see me when I come into my dock and stuff like that. They haven't given me an issue. I'm like, if anything, if I'm taking, too, if I do take too long, I had one location I went to in Florida where it was kind of tight. So one of the workers, he actually did come out and he did give me a little tip. So I'm like, thank you. No problem. And I was able to get my trailer back then. I said, other than that, it's no like, oh, we're going to reject the load. And that, she's like, oh, if you take too long, they're going to reject your load. And I'm just like, but I don't need you stressing me out. <laughs> I'm like, I've been driving for how many months before I came over here with you? This young lady actually thinks that she's like, she's trying to be a trainer to you, but you trying to explain to her that you don't need, like, no, we, we're not, we're not training. We're, we're just, we're teaming. Exactly. Why not, why not at this, at this such? So, so what about, the, what, what about the bladder problem, man? Like, I mean, you know, you got... <laughs> She wants you to y'all y'all have to know. share the y'all have to share the bottom bunk. Y'all only had one bunk? I didn't share that. I didn't share that bunk. Nah, I slept on the top. I don't care what DOT rules are. I don't I'm not doing that. Like that thing, that's the one thing like I went against the grain for because how I feel it's it's very unsanitary. Yeah. You know imagine. what I'm saying? And then to to every time you do the switch over, if you gotta take a mattress down, put a mattress up top. No, it's still it's still germs like that carries over, and I'm just like, when if she's pissing on her sheets and shit like that, and it's going through, like I don't have time for that. She ended up like catching her period during that time too, and I guess it was heavy or whatever the case is, but she fucking bled through too, and I'm just like, yo, I cannot, I cannot deal with this, like, and I like I'm a woman, so I understand. So I was trying to be like very like respectful about the situation. But I'm just like, nah. <laughs> it was crazy because like we like mind you, like we're driving this stuff. So of course, you know, you prepare for the worst. So she does have a bucket back there that she can use the bathroom in and I, I understand, you know. But to make that your bathroom all the time is just like ridiculous for me. Like there's rest stops, there's truck stops, there's gas stations you can pull over, you can use the restroom. She would just opt to use the bucket. While I'm driving, I'm like, you know what, I'll pull over. She's like, oh, I got to pee. I'm like, no worries, I'll pull over at the truck stop. She's like, no, go ahead, keep driving. I'm about to pee back in. I'm like, why would you do that to yourself? She coughs. <laughs> she coughs. She'll be like, oh, I just peed on myself a little bit. I'm like, you know what? A like, little, I can't a little bit. do it. And it's like, it, it, it it's weird to me because it's like, as women, like, you... Like, I see a lot of the men and stuff like that. They do kind of, like, get carried away with the foods and things that they eat, you know. But I'm, like, I try to, like, eat, like, a little bit healthy if I can. For the most part, I try my best to do that. But this, yo, I've never smelled the smell like I smelt when this girl farted. The, you tell the, uh, the, the owner-operator that you just can't deal with her no more. And you you just said... What, what what did he say? Like, did he try to get you in another uh, truck with another female or another male? What, what was his What was his side? What did he thought about all of this? Because my initially I told you this was just so that you know for the switchover. So I team first. I'll come in as a team driver, and then he'll put me in my solo truck, so the company wouldn't you know feel any type of way that he works with. So when I spoke to him about the situation, I was explaining to him. He was like, you know, wow, I didn't know, you know, she was like that. Like, but he, he always would tell me, like, you know, he's working on getting my truck set up. He did have another truck, but he wanted to check it out first before he just, like, sent me out there. And I'm like, okay, fine, no problem. Um, as we went on and stuff like that, I reached out to him again. And 
I guess he has another truck that, that actually does run. So he was planning on trying to get me over there, but he already had somebody in that truck. So he was in the process of trying to like make the switch and move that person out of that truck since he knew that that truck was like pretty much fine to run. But I don't know what, what happened with it. So it never came to fruition. So I'm like, I'm just moving on. Like they call me, but I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. Like they never reimbursed me for my, um, for my check luggage both ways. Um, my hotel room, they never reimbursed me for, they never reimbursed me for my gas from when I drove out, like nothing. So I'm just like, I took a loss in the sense, but I'm just like, I just made sure I got my last paycheck for the most part. I tried to wait on them to get me a truck. The guy has not called me back. The, um, the company called me back, but I just, I'm just like, right now I'm just trying to keep my mind clear (laughs) because I already made it up to leave. (laughs) So. And I already processed the whole, uh, I already went through the whole process to sign up with the other company. So I'm going to fly out this weekend. And it's just, it's just done. Like, I'm just. Big G's got it locked. Boy, what you want me on?